Oh. Oh. Did you guys come back for me? Well, first of all, a very big welcome to Our Honey Exotics. We have merch. We have hats. Nothing for sale at the moment. We're still trying it out, you know, seeing how it's gonna do, if the material's lost, and etc. What do you guys think of this cage? I mean, what? Right up there in that corner, we have a yellow shlegeli. You might not be actually to see on the camera, because the camera usually does blur out when we go too close towards the light. Which it's now, and there it goes. But like I was saying, so, the reason that you guys clicked on this thumbnail today was, well, for this. Now, what will this be? This is going to be a, I think it's Cryptolytrops. It's either Trimmer Series or Cryptolytrops. The name keeps changing. I'm going to go with what I think it is. Trimmer Series Propermiculatus, which is known as the Mangrove Viper. Now, I might sound dumb to you guys. You guys might be like, oh, what? This guy doesn't even know the scientific names. Yeah, well, the name has changed quite a few times, actually. And there's a lot of controversy. In regards to the info, and I mean, go, go Google it, Cryptolytros Propermiculatus, or Trimmerosaurus Propermiculatus, you guys are going to find the same snake. Alright, so, now that we have battled, now that we have gone on, I hope you all have had a pleasant day. We are going to start with the big purple mangrove cage. We're going to add some substrates, add some plants. Ooh, well, 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 I want to show you guys the plants. I mean, the plants, the plants, the plants. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this, you guys ask? Hmm, I wonder what this magnificent cage could be. Well, we will have to see. So, what are we going to be using today? We are going to be using bromeliads. Piliads. More bromeliads. And then, a money tree. That's right. We are going to be using a money tree for this build. So the first thing that we are going to be doing, we are going to be using... Boom! 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 That's right, Ohane Exotics Vivarium Substrate Mixture! What? Let the, let the verbs talk for themselves in regards to how successful the substrate is. But, alright, that being said, we already have the drainage layer in, we already have weed guard in. Now, what we are going to be doing is putting in the substrate. Now, I am a lazy bum, so I am going to be making this as easy as I possibly can. <sighs> See? Cages, empty cages are efficient. Empty cages? Why are the cages empty? Hmm. Alright, so here we go. So first of all, this is the hardscape we have. Um, I did like the idea of the branches being in the way. You know, I took some ratios into perspective. But now we need to brace these. So obviously, this is not a foamed up vivarium. Uh, this is a cheap and simple, quickly way to do it. So now I need to make sure that these are strong and secured. So yeah, uh, we will see you guys when they are secured. Alright, so now that our hardscape placement is done, which you guys didn't see, but we will show you now. We are going to be, first of all, removing all of these plants from their original substrate. Why? Because I am full of shit and I don't trust anything else. I only trust my own remedies. I don't know what parasites are in here. I don't know what insects they have in here. So, I clean up all the old substrates and then actually wash the plants as well. And only then do I deem a plant safe to be used in a vivarium for my animals. A very boring process, but you're more than welcome to watch. I will try and make it as interesting as I can.
touched out the roots. So now the next part of what I have to do is do some placement. So with this you figure out where you want your plants. Maybe, maybe. Actually, I think I'm going to eat them now. What do you think, man? Should we keep them all over here? Yeah. Yes, we do. It's going to be for the best, eh? Yeah, actually, yeah, more. actually, try to take them to the right bit. What, this one as well? Yeah. Well, oh, let's have a look. See if it'll work. I don't want to damage this one. Maybe I should take this one out first. As you guys can hear, um, hardscape planning is really the worst part of a verb because it's challenging. You need to figure out what you want to do. And then a lot of times you have this magnificent idea in your head, but you do not actually have the plants for it or the space or the idea you had is just simply not working so yeah you know what you have to be creative with it i mean you can't just think that everything's always going to be the way you planned it and was, let's be honest nature should well very well just be unplanned all right i'm liking this maybe we move this up uh, push some of that substrate to the back get all these roots in yeah that looks nice Oh yeah, I'm definitely liking that. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely liking that. Alright, so that's our first plant. And I'm definitely digging the way it's looking. So now we move on to the bromeliads. I think I want some bromeliads to be in the air, maybe. I'll put you down here for now. And this oaky I want actually on the bottom. Maybe somewhere over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to be placing all the plants and then after I have placed them all I will take a step back and then have a look at what the layout looks. So let's take a step back and then uh, let me have a look at this in depth and think about it. Alright, so the layout has been finalized. We have our magnificent plants in. We decided to add a little extra plant in the left back side. You guys will see that plant grow out and as it grows out, it'll go up higher and higher and then we will be trimming it down to keep it thick and brushy. Like this cage over here. As you guys can see, it's the exact same plant as that. Um, it grows quite high up, but if you trim it a lot, it grows thick and brushy. So that's going to be what we're going to go for there at the back. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually happy with the final look of it. We added another light just to make sure it's nice and bright. But yeah, so now maybe some filler soil over here in this corner. And then, yeah, that should be done for us. Oh, 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 wait. The final part. Uh -huh. The magic sauce. Oh, 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 yeah. Now that brings the vivid to life. Would you look at that? I mean, would you look at that? That really brings it into a whole other perspective. What leaf litter is this? This is the Ohani Exotics leaf litter. Oh yeah. But yeah, the leaf litter we add is a cosmetic for the isopods and the springtails. They munch on it. And then in return, they poop some more nutrients back into the soil. So it's a massive win-win. Maybe some more.
And there we go. We have our leaf letter and our complete vivarium. Now to introduce the snake. Alright, so now we have our enclosure done. And now we have our beautiful Chumrisurus propomaculatus, the propomangro viper that we have to introduce. So, the thing with these guys is they have a really, 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 really true reputation of a bad habit of being so aggressive. Now everyone says that they are aggressive and every single person that says that is one million percent correct. Now usually with the verb you'd want to actually wait a month before you introduce an animal to give the plants time to get well established but I don't have time for that so I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm tired of her old cage being in wooden and all that and yeah I think she just deserves a really nice cage so here we go. No. <laughs> Stunning snake, a really, really beautiful individual. All right, and then um, welcome home, the destroyer of plants. Hmm, actually, she really does look phenomenally nice in there. video um, I'm pretty happy with the end results of what the cage looks like it's not really the absolute best that it could be I mean I could have made this look fantastic like this with some phone and a much more plants but I feel for a temporary setup this is not that bad if you guys did enjoy this video please check out these videos as well and do me a favor while you're there hit the subscribe button over here and then there's a nice little playlist here of some other vivariums we've done from the on exotics we say thank you and